makeup lovers, how are you guys doing today? So I'm so excited for this video because we're going to be doing a haul from Beautylish and also a try on. I thought it'd be fun to kind of give you the rundown of what I purchased and why at the beginning, just go through all the products. And then at the end, I'm going to be doing a demo of the look that I have on my face today using some of the products that I hauled just so you can see them in action right away. I just want to make sure there's a good amount of substance to my videos. I hate doing looks and not filming them. So I thought I'd throw it in at the end and we've got some really exciting products to be playing with. Let's just jump right on in. All right, so I've got my little box here and I also have a story time to accompany it. So basically, this was a very planned purchase. There's been a few things I've wanted to purchase from Beautylish for a while and that would specifically be the brand Janessa Myrix. I've been so intrigued by her products and I feel like she is just such an amazing makeup artist. I don't understand why people aren't talking about her products. So it must have been maybe like two or three weeks ago, I decided that the next time Beautylish did its gift card event, I would go all in. I would purchase quite a few different products from Danessa Myricks because I've been wanting to try her for a while. I really wanted to do a video about her products. I just love getting to spotlight underrated brands and I just had a feeling that her products were gonna be really, really good just given her makeup artistry. And I figured that would be the way to get the most bang for my buck because Beautylish does the gift card event and when you spend $100, you earn a $20 gift card, which I figured I would use in the future next time they have the gift card event, just to be a little bit more money savvy, but literally, it must have been either a day or two days after I decided I would wait for the next event. They announced their spring gift card event, which I didn't even know it was a thing. I was gonna wait until fall, so I was like, well, this is my time. I'm going to go for it. So I pretty much already knew exactly what I was going to buy. And then there was three things that got added to my cart at the end. So I'll explain those in order. All right. So the first thing I grabbed from Danessa Myricks Beauty was a primer. And this is their Prime FX Hydrating Lotion. This just intrigued me so much because they had a few different primer options. I think they had a smoothing one, maybe an original. I can't remember. But the hydrating one, of course, is what grabbed my attention because I have dry skin. So here's what it looks like. It does have a pump, which I really appreciate makes it that much easier to apply. And from first impression, I thought this looked really, really lovely on the skin. Next from Danessa Myricks Beauty, I grabbed the Vision Cream Cover Perfecting and Sculpting Wand, which only has 0.12 fluid ounces, so it's very tiny, and I owe a huge thank you to Bailey. I can't remember what her full YouTube name is, but I'll leave her video down below. She talked about this in a video and mentioned how they actually have the Vision Cream Cover the exact same product in two different packaging. So you can buy this as a foundation in, I believe, a pump bottle. It's more expensive. It's not that much. I think it's only $8 more than this and you're getting way, 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 way more product if you get the foundation one. But I decided to go ahead and grab the concealer version. It's the same exact product, but I grabbed the wand because it was a little bit cheaper and also I was unsure of if the color was going to work for me or not. So even though the value of this was not as good, I thought it'd be better for trying and testing out and seeing if I like the foundation, if I like the color, and then if the future, if I ever wanted to repurchase, I could get the bigger size. I also think the applicator on this is pretty interesting. So here's what it looks like and it's just basically like you know, like a little pen foundation. I also found the color to be really great for me. I have the color N01. And she has a great shade range. There's neutrals, warm tones, cool tones, and the lightest shade matched me really well, which I am very pale, so that's nice to see. And she also has a great range for deep skin tones. She is a woman of color makeup artist, so I think that definitely plays a role in the shade range that she has. It's phenomenal. It might be a little bit harder to find your color because it is online, but if you go directly to the Danessa Myricks website, that you can buy this in a little sample size for five dollars and you can try and find your shade that way rather than purchasing full size but Beautylish also does do free returns within I think like 60 days or something like that. Okay so the next product I have here is the Enlight powder and this one was strange because everything else came in like really nice boxes and stuff but this one was just sitting in the box as is with no other packaging so I don't know why that is but I grabbed the shade Light. I was super curious about this highlighter formula just because there are so many shades. Well, actually this light one, I think they have a few neutral shades and then they also have some duochromes that's in another loose powder finish and one supposedly has a red shift to it, which sounds really, really amazing to me. And I don't know, there were so many shades that I was interested in, but again, I had a budget, so I decided to go ahead and try just one loose powder highlighter. It's what I have on right now. I would say the color reminds me so much of Glazed Donut from Ofra. It is really beautiful, very blinding. I'm curious to see how it works with different brushes, how it lasts throughout the day, but from first impression, I really, really like that as well. And the thing about Danessa Myricks products is yes, they're on Beautylish, but they're not really high-end pricing. They're not 
like drugstore pricing either, but they're kind of in between. I want to say the primer and the concealer were like $20. I want to say this was maybe like $22. I think the most I paid for anything from her line was like $28 or something like that. So again, not the most affordable brand ever, but if you compare it to a lot of other brands that are on Beautylish, it is definitely a step down in pricing. So I also grabbed the Evolution Powder and this is in the shade 01. I did use this for my skin today. I need another loose powder, like I need a hole in my head, but here I am. I was super excited to try this out. And I really like the packaging on this one because it's kind of like that like little net. I think maybe Milk Makeup has something similar. I think maybe Menagerie's new setting powder is also like that. I don't really, I don't think I have anything in my collection that has the little net, but I find it really, really convenient. So the next product is definitely the coolest one to look at. It kind of blows my mind. I haven't used this on the skin yet, but this is their Dew Wet Balm. And I feel like this is what made me want to try the brand in the first place because it's just so intriguing. I think this was like $20 or something and it looks so cool. I grabbed the shade clear. Again, there's a bunch of shades in this and I don't know if you can tell. You see that? That's pan. <laughs> you see the pan on my new product? I've been waiting all week to make that joke. I'm sorry. So there's what it looks like. I mean, you can literally just see through it and it's just a bomb. It is so interesting i haven't touched it i haven't used it or anything yet just because i don't know i can't stop staring at it i think it looks so cool and i think it's just to, supposed to be like a really dewy balm highlighter it looks very very soft and natural but i'm just so excited to see how this applies on the skin if it sets down how highlighters apply over it because i can only imagine that texture plus their other highlighter let's just see I'm just tapping it on top oh well yeah i mean it doesn't even make it look that crazy it just kind of blends in and gives it a little bit of color. So I don't really have my full thoughts on that at all together, but I'm just super excited to test that out and I thought the packaging looked so cool. It's unlike anything else that I have in my collection. I have one last product from Danessa Myricks that I picked up and I have not used this one yet either. This is their Vision Flush in the shade Ballet Slippers. I didn't use this today because I think it's pretty pink toned if I remember correctly and I knew I was gonna be doing a lot more of a warm look. Here's what it looks like. It's actually a little bit darker than I thought, maybe not quite as pink, maybe a little bit more on the neutral side. So this is a liquid blush and it has a little applicator. I've heard this is extremely pigmented. You can use it for blush, you can use it on the lips, which I thought would be a great option for me wanting to do kind of a full face look with Nessa Myrick's product that I could use this on the lips and the cheeks and it just looked like a really pretty shade. I guess I'm kind of in the swatching mode now, so I'll just go ahead. Oh yeah, that's very pigmented. Oh, that's a really pretty color. It's just super pigmented. I feel like that's gonna last me the rest of my life. It kind of looks like I just burnt my hand, but I think applied correctly on the cheeks, it could be very beautiful and very much like a warm, hot, summery blush. So I'm excited about that. And again, the packaging is super unique. I don't really have anything like this. But between all of that, I pretty much have a primer, foundation, concealer, powder, two highlighters and a blush and lippy from Danessa Myricks to do my full face. And I think that was like $150 or something like that. So not that bad for getting to really dive into a new brand that I've never tried before, but the gift card event was spend $100, get another 20 off. So at that point I was only $50 away from getting another $20 gift card. And I thought, what the heck, I'll just look around on the site, see if anything catches my eye. And I found two things that I absolutely knew 100% that I wanted. And the first is the Good Molecules Niacinamide Serum. And the reason why is because I have this from The Ordinary and I'm almost out. It didn't really matter to me which brand I purchased it from and I've tried a few things from Good Molecule through PR so I thought I'd go ahead and grab this one and it was only like six dollars so extremely affordable. So the next product I could not believe my luck for because I've been wanting it for so long. I was creeping on Beautylish a few days before the event started. I saw this was on sale but it was out of stock so I was like oh dang that sucks everyone got it whatever. But I think they might have just had a bunch of sale stuff out of stock waiting for the event so when this went back in stock I added it to my cart right away and and this is the Charlotte Tilbury Hot Lips in the shade JK Magic. I have wanted this lipstick for a really long time and I've wanted to try Charlotte Tilbury for a really long time. And I knew I wanted this because I love the color. I thought it would be like a perfect neutral shade for me, something I would use all the time. And I love the packaging of this one. I do like Harry Potter. <laughs> I'm not like a crazy fan, but I do like it. It is just stunning. Like it feels so high quality, so luxe. It is beautiful. And then the actual inside of the lipstick is beautiful as well. There's like a little kiss mark. 
It smells like vanilla. Like it is just an experience and I cannot believe that I was able to grab this on sale because it's something I've been wanting for a really long time. Uh, it wasn't that amazing of a sale. It was just like 25% off. But in my head, I justified the 25% off plus the gift card that I would be earning. So I was so, so excited about this lipstick. I think it is beautiful. I'm not wearing it right now. I did try it on in the demo. I just thought it was a little bit too pinky for this look. It was a bit more pink than I was expecting it to be. And last but not least, I was a little bit under the $200 mark. And this was something I knew I did not need, but again, it was on sale. It's something I've kind of lusted after, but I knew I did not need. So I went back and forth for a little bit on it. Then I just kind of had a treat myself moment. And also I was adding other things into the cart to get to the $200 mark. And it was kind of like, well, I only half want that. And I really, really love the idea of this. So it may as well get the product that I really love rather than grabbing something else just to throw in. So this is the Natasha Denona Camel Palette. Again, it was on sale, like 25% off, and I just love Natasha Denona's formula. I know I've said it so much, it's probably getting annoying at this point, but this is such a stunning neutral palette, and these are my tones. Like, look at this. This is my tone of neutral palette. I really bought this for the mattes because I thought the mattes in here were stunning, and I'm really curious to compare this to the original gold palette and just see how different the mattes are, but I think they're very camely. They're so pretty in real life. They were a dream to blend, and this is so unnecessary. Definitely something I did not need by any means. Um, it was a complete treat myself moment and I'm excited about it because I don't really buy neutral stuff that often So that would be the entire haul I'm so excited about every single one of these products and I earned a $40 gift card So that's cool. If you want to see these products in action, let's jump right on into the demo The only thing I've done for my makeup so far would be brows I do have a little bit of redness going on. That's just because I got a little bit tweezer happy But we're gonna go ahead and start off with the Danessa Myricks hydrating lotion, which just looks so good I'm so excited about this just gonna go ahead and take like one pump. I'm gonna rub that in. Oh yeah, it feels like lotion too. It doesn't feel slick as some other um, primers that have the same kind of coloring to them. It has a light floral scent to it, but it smells really good actually. So it dried down pretty quickly and I feel like that looks so beautiful and glowy on the skin. So now I'm gonna go into my Vision Cream Cover. I've heard this has really good coverage, so I'm just gonna try and do like a few swipes. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and blend that in with my favorite foundation brush just to see. Oh, again, it has a pretty floral scent to it. That's a lot of coverage. I may have went in with too much product. I'm also gonna use that as concealer and just go right underneath my eyes with that as well. So I've got a lot of product here. Look at it completely covering up the redness too regretting all of my life choices. Okay, so the good news is that the color is pretty much perfect for me and it's really full coverage so it took care of the redness but it's a little bit too much because I went in with too much product so I'm going to take a damp sponge and just bounce that over to get the excess product up. I definitely should have built it up rather than going in with so much at one time. I don't know what I was thinking. That's not even something I normally do. I said I'm using that as my concealer for today too. I'm not gonna go in with anything else because it's already pretty much all covered up. Okay, so for powder today, I'm gonna go into the Danessa Myricks Evolution Powder and I personally just grabbed the shade 01, which I think might be translucent or white. I'm not sure. <laughs> and I'm gonna set. I mean, I feel like that looks really smooth under the eyes. It's not drying or anything. For bronzer today, I'm going to quickly go into my Fenty bronzer in the shade In The Sun. For blush today, I want to do something a little bit warmer to go along with the eyeshadow palette I bought. So I'm going to go into my e.l.f. Uh, primer infused blush in the shade Always Cheeky, which is kind of like a nice peach tone. I'm going to go ahead and prime my lids with the Anastasia Eye Primer. So now for one of the products I'm the most excited about, I'm going to be going into my Natasha Denona Camel Palette. And I think I'm going to go ahead and start off with this shade in the middle called Safari. I'm just going to go ahead and place that shade through my crease. Really, really love the tone of that. So I've got that decently blended out. I'm going to go into the shade just a tiny bit darker. This is Arosto right here and I'm gonna pop that right into my crease just a little bit further down for some extra definition. I'm also gonna go ahead and take that same shade along my entire lower lash line. That's a beautiful color. 
Can't wait to use that one on its own through the crease, actually. I'm gonna take the darkest matte called Zand, and I'm gonna pop that on my outer V. Once I kind of built that up a little bit with that tiny brush, I'm gonna go back into my bigger fluffy brush and just blend over the edge there. All right, now I'm gonna go into this metallic right here called Copper Stone. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and grab it on my finger. Just curious. It just looks like a very, very true metallic copper. Nothing super special about this shade. This was probably the least interesting shade in the palette to me because I was more in it for the matte shades in here. I just put like a thin layer of that shade down and it's pretty. It does have like little sparkles going through it, but I thought it'd be fun to go ahead and take my Natasha Nona Chroma Crystal Liquid Eyeshadow in the shade Sienna, which I got a while back. It has like a really cool shift to it, but it's kind of a copper as well. So I thought I'd pop that on top. I'm gonna go ahead and take this shimmer right here called Dune for my inner corner. Ooh, that's actually, that's brighter than I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was just gonna be a very neutral tone. I mean, it is neutral, but it just has like a vibrancy to it. Oh my God, that could be a good brow bone shade. All right, I am absolutely loving this eye look, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish it off with my Appeal Gel Liner in the shade Deep Taupe, my Better Than Sex Mascara from Too Faced, and I'll be right back. All right, for highlighter today, I'm gonna go into the Enlight Formula by Danessa Myricks, which is one of the loose powder highlighters. There's a few different ones available. This has nice packaging because it does have like a little half part that the powder comes out of, but then you can close it and open it, which I really appreciate. Wish more loose powder highlighters had that. Okay. Oh wow, um, okay, so that's super blinding. Try and blend that out a little bit. I thought I didn't go in with that much product, but obviously I did. I might say that's the most blinding loose highlighter I've ever seen. All right, you all already know what this is, but I am so excited to apply this lipstick from Charlotte Tilbury. It is so beautiful. Ooh, pigmented. Smells like a MAC lipstick. Like the formula feels really pigmented and creamy. The color is kind of like my perfect pinky nude, which doesn't exactly go with this look today because everything else is pretty warm. But I do think it looks like something I would wear a lot. I think it looks beautiful, but I'm gonna make the executive decision to change my lipstick to something that goes a little bit more with this look. I'm gonna take my Velvet Fawn from Lisa Eldridge, which is one of my favorite nudes right now. It has a little bit more of a brownie pinkiness to it, so I think it'll go a little bit better with this overall look. All right, so this is the completed look. I love how it turned out, and I had a lot of fun doing the video like this today, so let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this format. If you enjoy my content and you have not already subscribed to my channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button before you go, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.